today facing off. And this is a huge game for them because, you know, bottom two teams, you have to go into that promotion relegation tournament. And honestly, a lot of a lot of pro players, they, they were saying that Splice is another one of those teams with, that right. they are looking to, to potentially finish in the bottom two. So this would be a very big win for them against Ghost. They having pull a, it off. Having a big matchup like this at the beginning of the season is very stressful. But the, both these teams actually got some play time in earlier. So I don't expect nerves to be a huge factor here. I think it's really going to come down to who can basically beat each other to the ball. And we're about to find that out. Nose God with the pass into the middle. Now off the corner, Jay Wiz will just hit that off to the side. He'll give up possession. Now a long clear from Nose Dude. Memory, chasing the ball down. Now left, off to their own corner. Illusion, he missed the pop, but Memory comes in to bail him out. Jay Wiz on the side. He's gonna give that up, but Karma racing in off the ceiling, but Illusion is there. He'll slow it down. Karma, just hitting it right back down, and Memory was waiting for it. Illusion with the shot. That was gonna be wide. Nose Dude takes over. And now off the backboard, Jay Wiz dropping it down. Lots of rotations coming out. Honestly, I think that it comes down to whether or not that first man is going to try and take the other person's boost. I've seen a lot of times Jay Wismont or Nose Dude will, will aggressively push, but doesn't end up going for their own corner and trying to take their boost. They instantly rotate out. And sometimes rotating too fast can actually jeopardize your positioning as a team. Yeah, it's all about being in sync with everyone. Where are you? Where's your team position? Where are you positioned? Where do you need to be? Sometimes getting boost and getting back isn't always the most important thing, especially demo. if you are on the offensive side trying to get that goal. Now a double commit, Lucian hits it right back to left. It was a good idea on that pass. But Splice keeping the pressure on. Now Karma flicking it by one defender. Left the mirror popping it up. Nose dude, the shot, easily saved by Illusion. Now Karma, and a demo here, this could be a 1v1 situation, left racing to it, a pass onto the middle, and Karma, excellent hustle from her, she gets back to prevent that center ball from doing any damage. Could have been a little bit more aggressive there, Memory trying to find the shot, but it was a little bit too far back. That cross from Lethemir was going to be close, and I think Memory knew it. Maybe yeah. could have maybe, been a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, maybe in that situation, when you say aggressive, you just race towards that right. near post, hope that it squeezes through, and Memory on the goal line when he was with set to destroy. I believe he did get the savior of the season. You can see why. A save there in a key spot. Lucian. And Ghost, and now a net potentially wide open, but fortunately for Ghost, Nose Dude had no boost. And this has been a quiet matchup. Splice, however, I would give the nod to them in terms of who's putting on more pressure, but still neither side able to get a goal past the other. Memory, out to left, left off the backboard. Lucian, he'll have a shot. The shot saved by Nose Dude. Another follow-up. Jay Wiz hits it out. Memory's there. Bump. And the bump challenge from Lethemir, but it doesn't even matter. Memory just hits it in. You see, you see Lethemir not only putting it across the net, but going for the bump as well. Karma did do a little bit of a slow turn. Overall, good placement for Memory. Yeah, it was a great idea from Lethemir, but in the end, it wasn't even needed because, like you said, the placement from Memory is so good. And if you think back to the Universal Open. Memory's placements in that tournament all throughout it were absolutely incredible. So he has that ability to shoot on target. Executing it there. Memory's definitely a player who can not only prove worth on both ends of the field. He's got great defensive capabilities and also, like we just saw, fantastic shooting. Yeah, and sometimes you, you, you would... You hope that he gives up that defensive instinct to, from time to time to focus more on getting shots like that. Because Ghost needs that help on the offensive side. Him and Lethemir earlier today, though, they did have some very good offensive plays together. See if Illusion can get more involved. 
Karma over to the side. Memory leaves it for left. Left over to Illusion. Illusion going for a backboard pass, and it was a good pass, but just slow to the ball. Ghost wasn't able to get the follow-up shot. Now could be the last chance for Splice to pop over to Karma. And Karma, a blistering shot into the upper 90 and Splice tie it up with three seconds left. Now take a look at that demo that Nose Dude got on the midfield contender. Not sure if he would have been able to contest, but that definitely damages the rotation. And, and but uh, you just have to also give so much credit for Wiz for taking his time and getting that perfect flick pass to Karma. And overtime, yet again, we've seen so many overtimes today. Now Karma, not much boost, she gets challenged by memory. Nose dude attempting a clear, gets blocked by Illusion. Now a little first touch, Lethemir trying to set himself up for a shot. Illusion, beating Karma to the ball, but Jaywiz gets it down to Karma. Karma, challenged by memory. Nose dude to the corner, left. Gets the hit, it wasn't strong, he'll be able to pop it again. And now Lucian with the follow-up hit. Great speed. Memory off the backboard, but nobody there for Ghost to hit it again. We've seen that quite a few times so far. Now over to the side, Karma. Again, low on boost. She won't be able to make this play, but she is being a nuisance to Memory. A little pop. Memory couldn't make the read. Jay Wismont taking it himself. Look at this fantastic flip and the pump from Karma. You can see Karma just running into to memory ruthlessly. She didn't really have any boost, but got that ball out into the middle, and it was a wonderful shot. But all around, team play from Splice, and they stole this game. They should not have won this game. I think the the, the handling from Jay Wismont there was, was really impressive. He managed to flick it up, but he didn't over flick it. I don't know how he did it. He kept the ball sort of in his own gravity there. Yeah, that was crazy. But let's take a look at another crazy play from Jay Wiz. This tying goal. Look at him. Just absolute patience and the perfect flick to set up Karma. And that shot in a big moment. Three seconds left. You have to hit this. There are no second chances. And look at how well Karma hits this shot. You're running away with the game right there. That was lovely. Three seconds left. So Karma coming up clutch, but Jay Wiz also a standout game for him, getting the assist and goal. 100% goal participation for him. And that last flick, Karma goal scoring uh, play, absolutely wonderful. Textbook play from them. Ball never even touching the ground. They could have done that at zero seconds. So Splice... You know, making a statement in game one. This seemed like Ghost had this one in the bag. They were holding it down. But this is not the first time we've seen it today where a team gives up the lead in the final seconds and ends up dropping the game. I think what we're going to be looking at now is really the mentality of Ghost and how they're going to bounce back from this. How are they going to take... Because those are probably the worst and most like demoralizing goals you can possibly have scored on you. When you can't even like explain how horrible it feels to get zero second gold on and then losing in overtime yep it's happened too many times Jamie. so this will be <laughs> you know you think it mock it back in we, uh, we don't talk about mock all right it, yeah we'll 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 forget that ever happened <laughs> the left in the corner now karma hits it up to jay resolution cutting that play out early and a miss from nose dude this could be bad but Karma, wonderful clear. Those are the kind of clears you're looking for, the ones that hug the corner, hug the wall so there's no chance. And now a drop down shot by Nose Dude, and he wasn't able to find his mark, but challenged the defense. It's a beautiful attempt, using the bottom side of his car actually to slow the ball down. Usually when it's so high off the backboard, you've got to kind of aim it down. And the only way to do that is by hitting it with your wheels or the bottom side so it just loses all momentum. And sometimes it can actually help you. It's like throwing a changeup, you know, where people are expecting a harder hit ball and they mistime their jump. But you're right, and it, in order to get it under the post like that, sometimes you just got to use the bottom of your car. Lathamir. Now Lucian right to Nose Dude, and Nose Dude... Denied by Lethemir. That shot was on target. 
Now another chance for him. A low shot, a double commit. Memory gets the save, and now Aleutian will take over. Great patience there. And Jay Wiz got the demo on Aleutian after Aleutian flicked it over him. And now Nose Dude could have left that for Jay Wiz. Now they're going to have to recover. And now so <laughs> many demo. Oh my gosh. And now can Aleutian get this in time? Another demo. Karma gets this. How how have they not scored off this? What is that? Three demos in ten it was, seconds. Yeah, those dude got demoed back to back. He he got demoed, respawn demoed, and then we saw another demo. But yeah, they couldn't. And now those dude getting some revenge. But Ghost just couldn't recover in time to put that shot on net before Splice respawned and got their defense back together. And you'll notice Splice's positioning are still, a demo will last so long. The effect demos have on players and teams can be detrimental to their positioning. One demo could throw off their entire rotations for maybe 20 seconds because it takes so much good communication just to get back in line. That's what, three seconds that it takes for you to come back? Yep. Then you respawn with a third of your tank and boost. And you have to look at where your teammates are on the field as well. You can't just spawn and instantly get back into the, the rotation of things. Yeah, because it, which side of the field you spawn on is random. So you can't really plan for that. So you can throw chaos. Throw your team into chaos. But Lethemir finally sneaking one through this splice defense. Seemed as if nobody was really contesting him here. Karma didn't have much boost. Instead of turning to go towards the ball, she turns away and tries to stay on the wall, but she has no boost. The only thing she can do there really is try and get in the way, but she doesn't, and Lethemir has a free shot. And and there was a defender coming back in net. Lethemir had to put it exactly where he put it. So precision on his part. And now a miss from those dude in memory couldn't connect. That was a freebie. You could tell that Memory thought Nose Dude was going to hit it. Surprised by the miss. Lots of aggression coming out from both teams. So much contact. I mean, that was the most demos I think I've ever seen in the short period of time. Right. Now flick from Karma denied. Lethemir up to hit it. Weak hit, but he'll have enough boost to get the flip, flip reset. reset. Can he get the dunk? And now a miss from Aleutian. Memory in a tough spot. Jay Wiz gonna try to drop it down. Gets it to Karma. But now Ghost recover. This is eerily similar to game number one. Ghost had the lead going into the final minute of gameplay. But Splice was able to score with three seconds left. Can they do it again in game two? Off the corner. Great speed here, out from Rogue. I mean, Splice, hello? Splice, pressuring. Nose dude with a touch, going off the ceiling. And now off to the races, Nose dude versus Lathamir, final 30 seconds. Jay Wiz dodging a demo, Memory with a miss. Now Leth, trying to take his time. Jay's whiz with the challenge. Aleutian getting it by one. But Karma back. Make sure that doesn't go in the net. Lathamir hitting it back. Nose dude pass to Jay Wiz. Jay Wiz with the shot. That's denied. Final chance. Karma keeping it alive. Center to Jay Wiz. Jay Wiz couldn't get to it in time. And this time, Ghost hold on and take game two. Unable to finish a lot of their opportunities. Felt like. Splice really was on the attacking end towards the later half of that game, but not many many open opportunities, nobody really going for anything extra, kind of just trying to throw the ball at the net, but nobody making that extra, that extra move, trying to get a demo, trying to mess with any rotations, they're just trying to get some plain shots in. Yeah, and just one goal this game, and it was that Lethemir shot where he kind of just passed it to himself here and was able to beat Karma to the ball, Karma low on boost. The defender, you can see him right in the middle of the net. It looks like it was Jay Wiz, but just absolutely wonderfully placed by Lethemir. That was it, that was the only goal. So a low scoring affair between Splice and Ghost. Ghost could very easily have been 2-0 at this point, but now we're still tied at one game apiece. It's a pretty solid comeback, I think. I think mentally, Ghost is in a good standing right now. 
not only was that a close game, but they, they kept it they kept it strong. They had a lot of stamina in that game. Like I said, it's really it's really easy to get tilted instantly off of a three second goal. But in order to you know level down, come back to a solid mental game, and just realize, look, okay, we got to just play our, our game here and try and make it one one. Yeah, absolutely. It kind of makes you think back to that WSOE game where there was a slight hiccup in the server and Flipside ended up losing that se- or that game, but they mentally just got right back into it. And winning that next game, that is what's so important. And we've seen Ghost do exactly that. They experienced adversity in game one, but they bounced back in game two and get the win. I think a lot of that does come down to Lethemir. I've, I've known him to be more of a team captain. I think he's very level-headed. And normally when it comes down to keeping the mental game strong as well as the communication on the field, Lethemir is more of a team captain in that sense. Especially with a new player like Illusion, that's that's really what you got to focus on is just keeping everybody calm because there are going to be mistakes. They're not perfect yet. They haven't completely played It's impossible to together. play a perfect game of Rocket League. Even in five minutes, there will be mistakes. But it's all about how you respond to those. Memory in the corner. And now Illusion at the mid boost. Gonna try to slow this down. Gets the corner boost steal. So perhaps they're slowly gonna start boost starving splice in this situation. Karma and Jay was both jumping up for that. Now Memory chasing this ball down. Jay was a hard center, but Nose Dude it was just out of his reach. Another hard center from Nose Dude, but Memory gets there first. Now straight up off the ceiling. Karma trying to control it. Gets bumped out of the way by Lethemir. Now Nose Dude. Center ball. Memory couldn't get there in time. A demo from Nose Dude. An illusion. Not the greatest hit. Jay was still bumping people. A lot of physicality coming out from Splice early. You have to remember that when you bump, you also lose a bit of your own positioning because you're being so aggressive. You're going the extra mile trying to put the other team out of position that you end up doing yourself. And you see here, Karma's running back trying to keep possession and trying not to have their over-aggression capitalized on. Yeah, you have to slow it down in those situations where the bumps don't necessarily work out. And now a miss from Karma. Open net for memory. What is How did this get saved? saved? Nose dude on the goal line. That seemed like it was surely going to be a goal for Ghost. And now a wide open net, they get it. So after mind blowing defense on the goal line, a wide open net here for Memory. And you can see there, Jay Wiz and Nose Dude just not expecting Oh, memory to have a wide open shot. Like I like the idea that Karma had there. She she wanted to control it and try and get a flick, but the first touch was way too far away, and she was trying to keep it on the top of her hood to get a big flick, but unfortunately, it went way ahead of her, took too much of a turn, and gave them a free shot. You could tell that definitely caught them by surprise, but very quickly, Jay Wiz going to answer right back for four splice, and you can see there, wonderful backflip pass from Nose Dude. Bit of an awkward read. Those corner reads are really hard to do, but Memory pushing himself a little bit too far. And great team chemistry from Splice, connecting so many passes to get the ball right in front of the goal. So immediate response from Splice. Another very close series panning out here, and Nose Dude getting on the scoreboard himself. Now that is a fantastic challenge here from Karma. She gets herself right in front of the ball and pinches it off the top. There's no other place that 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 ball could have gone because she pushes herself right in front of the ball. There's there's nothing else you can do. Ball bounces right off the ceiling, and that that really comes down to Karma being aggressive there and putting herself forward. And, I mean, you even touched on it. It's just being aware, you know, not necessarily rotating too quickly. Karma didn't rotate out. She went for that and made that opportunity for Splice. Now Nose Dude on his own backboard. Going for a deep clear. Karma cutting off memory. Illusion slowing down the attack. Wonderful center ball, but Nose Dude was just out of his range. Now a demo on 
Jay Wiz. All the boost used up from Aleutian. Memory. Centering it. Is anyone there? No. Jay Wiz will easily take possession. Going for a mind game, but well played by Lethemir. Another booming clear here from Nose Dude. Karma. Her challenges have been on point. Now Illusion giving up possession, but it still goes right back to memory. Now Karma double tap. These extra touches field. that she's getting are really, really effective right now. She's keeping things completely surprising and trying to get in the face of the enemy team. They don't know what's gonna happen. They see her going for the ball. She can get a double touch even can put the other team out of position. I mean, you saw Lethemir was cheating up and as soon as that second hit on the double touch came, he had to rotate out. He was out of position. And time in favor of Splice. Lethemir. Double commitment. But a good win from Jay Wiz. Illusion, the midfield, go doesn't get that challenge. Now this one hurled toward net by Karma. And another demo. Nose dude, over to Jay Wiz. He's gonna have to get it back. Pops it up and gets demoed by Illusion, but he'll respawn back, so not the worst for him. Memory upfield. Last 10 seconds, a lob towards net, denied by Illusion. Got to put on full aggression here. This is the last attack for Ghost. And it touches the ground. Splice, take game three, and move ahead in the series two to one. Much different game there. I felt like Splice was really looking for each other. You saw that one goal. Um, I believe it was the second goal. The, the connected passes that were, they were getting, and Karma putting herself in the way of the enemy team, constantly trying to be that aggressive factor. And the great thing is that her teammates aren't trying to play the same role as well. Some things, I mean, sometimes you get all the players trying to be aggressive and play that Karma role, but it ends up you just pushing too much. Karma has teammates that stay back, let her do her thing, and kind of adjust to the, to the way she's playing. Yeah, and that's one of the things we've talked about about Splice is they didn't get here from just being insane individually. Obviously, you have to be a, a fantastic individual player to get to this point, but just looking at the stats, they weren't at the top of the charts in the in the rival series. The where they excel is playing off of each other. They really play the team game. And you're exactly right, Karma, there's just something about how they're playing together. They're giving her that space, and it almost seems like they're expecting her to make plays like that because Nose Dude, he was in a perfect position to capitalize off of that challenge from Karma. And Karma, you know, instead of rotating out, able to make that challenge, it worked out for him. It's really a reactive play from Splice here. They're, they're just reacting to, to the extra touches that Karma can get. And it's, it's honestly it comes down to communication as well. Knowing that Karma is always up there and trying to be vocal about that. I think Karma's doing a great job of saying, hey, I'm going to be pushing up here. I'm going to be being aggressive. You guys stay back and try and react on what I'm doing. Now they're just one game away from getting their first win in the RLCS. They were one of the teams that came up this season from the Rival Series promotion tournament. I'm really looking at Illusion here. See if he can make a deciding factor that puts them back in the game. And that almost could have been a deciding factor right there. Now net wide open. Lethemir misses it. Illusion could have taken the shot. And the desk criticized it. Gibbs said... He worries about Lethemir trying to take matters into his own hands. Illusion had a wide open shot. He could have never missed that shot from where he was standing, but Lethemir took it instead and missed. Especially from a new player perspective, that is a trust issue. If you have a new player coming in, you might not trust him as much. You might believe that it'd just be better if you take the shot yourself until you get acquainted with each other more. But they have been playing together in the off season, but it still seems like that trust is still forming. And, you know, you, you have to wonder how that play is going to affect their mentality right now. They need this win to stay alive in the series. They're, you know, just a game away, just minutes away from starting out 0-2 in the season. We'll see if Ghost can bounce back, force the game five. They could have been up one to nothing right now. Lethemir downfield. Taking the dribble, pops to himself, and redemption for Lethemir making the play. Great positioning on the ball. He gets it towards the back of his car, actually, 
and just lightly taps that thing above, pushing it in. So an excellent solo play, and you know, if you're Lethemir, that is exactly what you needed to get your mind back in the game. That's some finesse. So Ghost right back in it. They stabilize after that missed chance early. Memory, it's gonna bounce down. Now Jay was good first touch. See if he goes for a pass, he does. Trying to find Karma, but snipped out by Illusion. I like that touch from Nose Dude. Trying to hit it up, but also keeping possession, even while you're on the backboard. As long as you can hit it to where you can contest it again, that's all that matters. He was the last man back, trying to hit it and just get it to a controlled state. And they need that control right now. Down by one. The good speed from Lethemir yet again. A miss on the challenge and Remory out of position, but Illusion bails him out. Lethemir almost that hitting that fantastic. off the crossbar and almost a double whiff there from Splice, but that one just centimeters away, inches away. Lethemir doing a great job to put that in front of Illusion, but unfortunately just could not connect. That's something you got to put away, especially in games like this. You're right. We'll see if that comes back to haunt Ghost. They've already had a few missed opportunities so far. And a one-goal lead is never safe in Rocket League. Even when that clock hits zero, you got to wait for the ball to touch the ground, and that time can still bite you. Jay Wiz going for a demo on Illusion, but Illusion dodged it. Back to Nose Dude in the corner, a stuff. Nose Dude looks like he might have been able to get that boost steal in the corner, so Ghost might be experiencing some boost problems, but that one off the crossbar and in. Lethemir taking matters into his own hands. Ghost up by two. Nose Dude trying to keep possession, but nicks it with the side of his car a little bit too much. He takes a wide turn and can't contest again. I was talking earlier how he's on the backboard wall. He hits it so he can contest. There he tried to do the same thing, but too big and too bad of a position to do it. And that long shot, Biden splice. Now a chance for Nose Dude. He's got no boost to really do anything with this. It's the right idea with a little bit of boost, he might have been able to sneak that one in. A good dunk there by Illusion. And he gets the demo. Now off the backboard, chance for left. It's good speed from Jay Wismont there. Yeah, man, a good read. Demo. So Jay Wiz defense paying off. Now Nose Dude upfield. Memory going for another hit. Flip reset potentially, but he just couldn't get it. Now hit up. Giving up possession to Nose Dude. Illusion over to left. Left opting to take the hit there. Now Nose Dude, center ball. But Lethemir, he was way closer to that ball than Jay Wiz. And now a demo on Nose Dude. Illusion, good midfield defense, denying that opportunity. And now a chance for Left. Going for the block, he gets it. Memory will have an open net. And Ghost go up by three. They will be taking game four. The aggression here from Ghost seems much more evident. I've been watching Memory play for the past few minutes, and I'd say he's been more aggressive than he normally tends to be as that third man back. He's kind of pushing up, trusting his teammates a little bit more, and you see Illusion even getting involved, going for demos. He got a demo previous to that, about 20 seconds earlier. And just overall, better performance from Ghost. Yeah, all around. I mean, it started out, it looked a little shaky. Ghost taking game number four. They will be forcing a game five, so, you know, in your first two caster, we get to go all the way to game five. That's great. But this Not one... <laughs> Not nervous at all, huh? <laughs> well, you're doing great. But right now, Ghost doing even better. Let's take another look at the first goal of the game. This one was one, I believe, that left us shaking our heads a little bit. Oh, no, this was, yes, the Lethemir dribble. Just popping it by. And Lethemir did a lot of heavy lifting on, on his own. He had 100% goal participation. Both the goals he scored, however, were unassisted. 
And we did see earlier they could have gotten a second or maybe third goal, but he was trying to get in the way of Lucian. So it's great that he's making these solo plays, but at the end of the day, you also got to be willing to trust your teammates. Yeah, but if you're looking at the stats from Splice, Nose Dude and Jay Wiz both zeros across the board. So not even registering a shot, only two shots were made and it was by Karma and one save. That was the only stats generated from Splice. So as opposed to seven shots for Ghost, but Lethemir did most of it. Two goals for him, an assist, five shots. Lethemir doing a lot of carrying. And this was one thing that the desk earlier, you know, I'll touch on it again. They, they were worried about Lethemir trying to do too much. But in this situation, Lethemir was what got them over the hump. Even though he did try to take that shot over Lucian, Lethemir still contributing big time to, to that win. I mean, it is the first game in league play. I think once they catch their nerves and have a little bit more experience under the belt as a team in league play, maybe that trust will build. Maybe that trust will get there more. Um, but so far, it seems like it's at least keeping them in contention here for this match. Here we are with game five, the decider on Champions Field. Memory, the drop down, beating the defense just 10 seconds in. Go start off hot. The fantastic rotation of his car just to get all the way above it, sneak it under Karma, and even place it down on the right side. That's just a great shot from Memory. Yeah, it's so easy to flub that shot and just have it bounce and make it an easily saved shot. But excellent execution from memory. Now Lucian getting it out to the corner. This could be a chance for Karma, but Lucian does just nick that ball. A good self-pass by memory. He's just going to flick it off to the corner and go for the boost deal. He gets demoed, but he did get that boost deny. You can see Lucian hunting for another player to bump or demo on Splice. Good positioning on the challenge. Now a chance to shoot. Lethemir getting blocked by Jaywiz. No boost really for Karma. She has one. Just picking up a small pad. And the demo from memory. That's going to slow down the attack. Karma. Very dribble-based game we're seeing right now. The ball isn't popping up at all. No aerials. Oh. There it is. And it was absolutely dribble-based. Look at the flick Karma gets right here. Excellent first touch. And then the flick. I don't even think Illusion expected that. He saw Karma with the ball and was like, nah, probably going to pop it up a little bit. But that was just a powerful flick coming out here from Karma. You know, people talk about Lethemir's 1v1 history. Karma also... You know, she has done a lot of 1v... Or has had a lot of 1v1 experience. And that play right there... You can see why she was so good. That flick, just, you know, a solo play, really, to get Splice tied up. I think one of these teams really needs to start making this more of an aerial-based game. It, the ball is so flat right now. It's just coming down to these 1v1 plays. Nobody's really looking for a teammate. Nobody's really trying to pop the ball up. It's really just a contest and then keep dribbling kind of game right now. And usually, we've seen Splice have these amazing passing plays. Right. We even saw it versus Cloud9. But for Ghost, you know, we even saw that in their first game. They were doing a little better job of that as well. But you're right. This this game has been a lot of solo plays. Now a chance memory. Straight up. Nose dude off to the sideline. Going for a pinch. And now over to the corner. Back to memory. Memory, the shot towards net. Nose dude off to the side, and Karma cleans up. Now Lucian. Upfield. Lethemir opting to go for the boost. Slow play, but cleared by Nose God. Now off the ceiling. Karma. Downfield. Lucian. Gets the boost deal, but gets hit out of the way by Karma. And now a chance from Jay Wiz. Lethemir on the backboard, however, was there for Ghost. You really want to see a team right now start to get these horizontal passes. We saw earlier Splice managing to get things that go across the field. The question now comes down to whether or not you can get that angle with your car and hit it all the way across. On a double commit there. And we know how deadly those cross-field passing plays can be. Almost unbeatable at times if you can set your team up for it. I mean, even just thinking back to the three-second goal by Karma. 
Jay was had that perfect pass for her to just shoot. There was almost nothing Ghost could do. They need a play like that as well, but Lethemir, strong, solid perform or strong performance from him, solo performance last game. Both teams looking for a little magic, and Jay Wiz is bringing it right now, getting the lead for Splice with just a minute 29 left. Unfortunate whiff here from Aleutian, trying to get the read off the backboard, but thankfully Jay Wizmont was saying, hey, he might miss this, I'm gonna stay here, make the right choice, and be able to react if he does. He was in the position, if he did end up hitting the ball Aleutian, it wouldn't have been that much of a, a big deal because he would have easily got back in rotation, but knowing that he needed to stay there was really what made that play. Jay Wiz, will he be the hero? A demo, and now a shot from Lethemir. It's high, self-pass. Again, off the backboard. Memory going for the stuff. Lethemir perhaps would have had a shot, but it was a difficult shot to... We see the horizontal passing. It seems like it's coming more into effective ghost right now. Let's see if they can capitalize. Now that shot does sneak past the defense. Lethemir off the pass from Aleutian. Ghosts stay alive. Look at the one. precision here. He knows Jay Wisman is on the upper right, and he just slowly drops it into the bottom left. It doesn't matter the speed because he's on the backboard. It's hard to adjust yourself. It doesn't matter the speed. As long as you get the right placement, there's nothing Jay, Wiz Jay Wisman can do there. Watamir's well, placement has been very well. Aside from the one that he missed with, where he could have let Illusion take it, Watamir has had some pinpoint accurate shots. Even though the one game where there was only one goal scored, it was because Watamir just lasered it in the only spot that Splice couldn't save. Now, Splice on the attack, off the backboard, Nose God coming in huge for Splice. Knowing when to crash the net here, Nose God could have rotated out, but he turns around and he's right there. He was waiting there the entire time, saw that Karma had possession, turned around and crashed as soon as that ball came across. Ghost has been battling from behind. Now, they find themselves trailing with just 30 seconds left on the clock. No more chances left in this series. And I'm getting something fast. Waiting for it. Just on the prowl. A pass over to Lethemir. Lethemir the shot right at Nose Dude. No boost for memory. And now a wide open net potentially. Karma getting the boost steal. This could be it. And Splice take it in game five over, Ghost. This was such an important series for them. Splice, a team coming up from the rival series, a team that people were saying, look out, they might have a very tough season and finish in the bottom two, maybe get relegated potentially. No, they have other plans. Getting this win here versus Ghost, a massive win. It cannot be understated how important that was. And let's take another look at this final goal from Splice by Nose Dude. Nose Dude right here, he could have rotated out. I, I say it again, it's, it's knowing when to turn around. You see him crash it once. No, nope, turns around, crashes again because he trusts his teammate and he's there to finish it off. And Jay Wismont was in the background and just saying, hey, I'm going to let my teammates do it. That was phenomenal rocket. I just love watching these game fives. It gets me going every single time. That was so much fun. Splice, though, uh, this was, you know, it really was a big win for them. You know, coming in as a rival, seri or a rival series team last season, that first win is so important. Especially on the first day. You know, you, not only coming in and, and getting your feet wet with, you know, playing in league play, coming in from the rival series, but getting a win, a solid win the first day, the first time in league play, that's great for your mentality. Absolutely. So congratulations to Splice. They get their first win of the season. We are going to go to a quick break, but we have more RLCS Season 7 League 1 or Week 1 League play coming up. Stay tuned. <laughs> 